Have you guys ever watched one of those videos where there's an animal that seems to be confused about its identity? Um, I watched one recently that was a magpie that I guess had fallen out of its nest as a baby and the parents kind of abandoned it. And so these dog owners found it at a dog park and they took it home with them and it became kind of part of the pack with the dogs that they already owned. And um, it's cute in a way, like it plays with the dogs, it's best friends with the dogs, it naps with them. You know, when the dogs are like laying on their back for belly rub, the, the bird will also lay on its back and put its little feet up in the air. It's funny, um, it tries to eat the dog food, it even barks and it's, it's cute. But um, it makes me think like, if we also have a mistaken identity about ourselves that we will also never reach our full potential you know this bird is not flying off and exploring or trying to be a bird it's staying down at a lower level and if we also just think to ourselves like ah oh, we're just human we're just here like having this earthly experience and then that's that there's nothing more to life after this then we'll also be focused more on worldly things instead of like focusing on our potential and on the fact that we have like divinity within us and um becoming all we can be and that um you know, if we just think we have limited capabilities and stuff, then we will never even try to soar to like greater heights. We will never try and develop into like more greater spiritual beings and tap into like our, our full potential and power. And so I think it's important that we remember, you know, we are eternal beings here having a mortal experience and that we not forget our identity and how powerful we can be. And um, just remember that we're, you know, children of God and that means that we have so much potential and power within us to do so much greatness and good and not get caught up in these worldly things and forget um, who we really are.